All right, L long time no see. It's been about a month since I've uploaded a video and there's a reason for that. I suffered a pretty bad ankle injury playing basketball a month ago and that's why I haven't uploaded. So there's your explanation. We did hit over a thousand subscribers. So I wanna say thank you all very much for that. A huge milestone, only going up from here. Hopefully I can keep uploading <laughs> if I feel up to it. It's been a while since I uploaded a 2K my career. And as you can see, by Gerald Johnson, he is on a new team, but I did not start off on a new team. So let's go over that right now. So I am currently on the Miami Heat. Uh, I did hit 99 overall. I'm here with um, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Kyle Lowry, who is coming off the bench. And you can't see the the relations, right? Yeah, you can't see the relations. But I imagine he's going to retire after the season, probably. Uh, Victor Oladipo is still here. He signed a two-year deal. Caleb Martin's still here. We have Seth Curry now on the team. Dennis Smith Jr. We traded for KCP. So we have a lot of guards. We, didn't, we did not have KCP when I got traded here. They traded for him for some reason. So I did resign with the Rockets. And as you know, I don't know if you guys know, but I did request them to sign Chris Middleton, Porzingis, and Drummond. Because I didn't think we'd get all three. So I asked them to get Drummond and Porzingis. And they ended up getting all three. So this was the team because the Rockets have plenty of cap space. They were able to sign me, Chris Middleton, and Porzingis all to a max contract. Because I guess they, they just have that money, which makes sense. Everyone's on their rookie contracts. But I ended up leaving this team because, one, they were we were just way too good. Like, our lineup was me, Jalen Green, Middleton, Jabari Smith, and Porzingis with Drummond and Sangoon off the bench. The team was absolutely insane, and we were just blowing out teams by 50 on Hall of Fame. So it wasn't that fun, and I just got sick of playing with the same team. The Rockets in 2K, they didn't update their jerseys, so they have, like, no good jerseys. They have their home and away, so that was another thing. I figured I'd go to an Eastern Conference team, and that was the Miami Heat. And if you're curious who they traded, they traded Nikola Jovic. Anyways, and you also saw on the Heat that Tyler Hero is no longer there. That is because Tyler Hero signed, oh, sorry, signed with the uh, OKC Thunder. Because when I started his mind career, he had not signed his extension yet. So Tyler Hero is on the Thunder. He is no longer on the Heat. So it makes the Heat a little bit worse. So the Miami Heat were 7-7 seven and seven when I joined them. And if we go to look at the standings, we are currently tied for first place in the Eastern Conference. When I joined, they were 7-7, and they were currently the seventh seed, I think. And I've played a good amount of games. I've, I've simmed a lot because Jimmy Butler and Lowry got hurt. They were out. When I joined the team, Lowry was hurt. Then Jimmy Butler got hurt like three games in for like four weeks. Now we go up against the seventh seeded Kyrie Irving and the Orlando Magic of Florida showdown. We're in Orlando for this one. Alrighty, in Orlando, I know I spent a long time on that intro, so maybe not much gameplay here, but I have been able to shoot threes. Like, I've gotten used to my jump shot. I've got Kyrie's jump shot on. We are still on Hall of Fame, and I've equipped a new uh, layup package as I throw it down on Kyrie Irving. I think I have mostly Kyrie Irving and Chris Paul layup. I mean, not layups. I don't know why I said layups. Dribble package. I mostly have uh, Chris Paul and Kyrie, so it's a bit quicker. I am now 99 overall. Uh, Jalen Suggs is wearing number 32 for some reason. All right, I'm going to subbed out here. Kyle Lowry enters the field for the first time, and we're up by eight. Okay, Butler's got four, Bam's got five. I currently have two and four assists. I think I have two steals also, so that helps. And we got the starters back out here. Usually, I'm out playing with the bench. I'm going to take that fake shot, dish it out to Jimmy, and that's an easy dunk. We're currently running away with this game, and I am two assists away from a first-half double-double, and Jimmy's already got ten on perfect shooting. Yurtsevin with the steal. I'm giving it up to Jimmy for the mid-range game, and it's green. Jimmy Butler makes the lead 15 now, 53-38, to 38, and gets me one assist closer to a first-half double-double. Vucevic now gives it up to Markel Fultz. They want to get it to Kyrie, I can tell. Kyrie sets the screen and throws up the lob to Vucevic. Yurtsevin was nowhere near him for that. Let's see who's going to get me this double-double. No one, because I'm cutting right into the... Never mind, I'm causing a turnover. Okay. Kyrie, down court. I'm stuck behind you. Kyrie Irving, going to take a fading half court three and green it. Hall of Fame, everyone. Hall of Fame. Not much that can be done there. Jimmy Butler, come get me my double-double. Come get me my double-double. Jimmy Butler in the paint. That's too easy. Ten points, ten assists. Still halfway to go in the second quarter. We got team takeover. I'm going straight to the rack with Jimmy. Or not. Actually, I'm just going to give it to Bay. Oh, I was open in the corner. I'm open now. That's a green from downtown. Gerald Johnson with the three makes it back to a 15-point game. I'm going to try and abuse this team takeover and get 
uh, Jimmy and Bam more points, even though Jimmy's already perfect for the field and has plenty of points. Give it up to Oladipo. Why not get him involved with the dunk 17-point lead? And this is indeed on Hall of Fame. I will show you right after the game if possible, but it's definitely on Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is just not hard enough once you get used to it. The biggest problem I've had so far this season is turnovers. Also, I just realized that Paolo is coming off the bench for some reason. And there goes Franz Wagner. Yeah, Paolo's coming off the bench. They're starting Wendell off over him. But yeah, one issue I figured out, well, one thing that's going on this season that I have not been doing good is, uh, what you call it, turnovers. I have been committing a lot of turnovers this season. Bam, come here and set the screen. So far, I have four in this game. And I'm currently leading the league. And Bam had a bio with the dunk. But yeah, it's something I got to fix. Uh, wide open. For, that's got to be green. There it is. Another three. Third one of the game. And one thing I was going to point out is they like to play me a lot as shooting guard. They like to play Lowry and I together. Which, I mean, I don't care too much because I can still handle the ball. And it also allows me to play off ball because they won't force the ball in my hands every time since I'm the point guard. But I thought I hate it. I really don't care too much. It is what it is. Uh, never mind. You know, I I tried making a point there, and they ignored me and forced me the ball when I didn't even call for it. All right, let's go, Caleb. Another thing is, this game does not allow Caleb Martin to dunk for some reason. Caleb Martin is one of the better dunkers in the league, and this game just has him do layups. Doesn't make much sense. Well, he gets fouled there, and I guarantee you he misses this. Nope, he greened it. I'm going to sub out. Yep, okay, figures after I fouled. Uh, let's see, we're currently, yep, we're up by, uh, 15. 15 still, alright, yeah, this game is more than over. Alright, well, I'll just pick up my fourth foul because 2K just doesn't allow you to hit the square button, no matter what. So, I'm surprised they haven't subbed me out, seeing that I have four fouls. To be brutally honest with you. Bam, please catch his lob, thank you. Very surprised they haven't subbed me out. I only got 18 points, I do keep my double-double streak alive. I have had a double-double in every single game of this season. I have not had a game where I haven't had more than 10 assists. Just hasn't happened. I don't think I had a game where I've had under 20 points either. So that that that's something. I'm averaging 38 and 16. I want to say 2.1 steals on very, very good efficiency. You know, normal stuff. Vucevic over Yurtsevin. He was perfect from the field until that moment. Give it up to Jim Jim. Give it up to Bam. What a play. Off to Jimmy. The Bam's got 15. Jimmy's got 17. I have 18. Just a complete balanced scoring attack has been tearing apart this magic team i mean subbed out to get my seventh turnover i think it deserves i won't lie it definitely deserved to be subbed out there uh and we are what 123 to 87 how 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 2k like make hall of fame more difficult bro this is insane there's no reason oh i, I still managed to get an and one out of that how is that possible I almost baptized this man. Almost baptized Mo Wagner. And I still managed to get an and one out of it. Look at this. I was about to murder him. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. And I still get an and one. That's, I, man, if I didn't already have a thumbnail, that would have been it right there. But my God, dude, I don't understand how we're up by 39 points. And they have me in the game. With all the scrubs. Like, why am I playing right now? Like, there's no reason for me to be playing right now. I don't need to pat my stats. I've already got really good stats. If I didn't have a double-double, then I would have been like, all right, keep me in. But I do. I have 23 and 15. Why am I in the game? They ain't coming back. I can tell you that much. Yep, that's one. From downtown. 42-point game. Yeah, I safe to say this one's over. All right, I doubt. Like, they might try and score. Wow, you're really going to try and score on that, huh? Well, then I'm going to have no mercy. Give me the ball. Give me the ball and go right to the paint. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Another foul. Thank you for giving me more points. You got six seconds left. Try and score on. I don't know why we brought our starters in. Well, we brought Bam in. For what reason? I don't know. 144.97 is your final score. I don't think they try and take another shot. Yep, that is it. We end up winning by 47 points. Final box score. Kyrie Irving at 24. But he got clamped. 8 for 25, 3 for 11. Now, I give up the most points in the league. But... I give it's the worst percentages. Like I average like 18 points given up, but the average shooting is eight for 21. So I'm fine with that. Marco Fultz had a great game, 19 and seven off the bench. Uh, Cole Anthony, another person who had a great game off the bench with 18. Uh, Franz Wagner, 13. 
all was he off the bench? I don't think he was off the bench. Um, Vucevic had 13. He was six. I mean, five for five at one point, and he missed his last three shots. I guess Paolo is coming off the bench for some stupid reason. Uh, for us, 34 points, three rebounds, 18 assists, and four steals. Did have nine turnovers, but I mean, it is what it is. I had 18 assists. Uh, 11 for 19 from the field and 4 for 8 for downtown. 8 for 9 from the free throw line. Bam ended up with 23 and 8. And Jimmy with 22. He only missed one shot on the night. That is a combined, I want to say, that is 79 combined points for the big three. And the bench did fantastic. 14 from Caleb Martin. 13 from Seth Curry. 10 Four, nine, a steal and two blocks from Alex Lane. He's been playing great as a backup center. And then nine from KCP. You can't ask for more than that. That is, I, I think I could check the bench points over here. Our bench points, we scored 59 bench points. That's that's amazing. They scored 45 bench points. But that was mainly, I think, Mark Hill and Cole Anthony. But yeah, that's that's fantastic. But that's going to be for me. Oh, wait, you guys, I'll show you guys that's on Hall of Fame. It won't let me show you that it's on Hall of Fame. Did they get rid of that screen? It's a 1.6 multiplier, but it's it's on Hall of Fame. I don't. Did they get rid of that screen? There used to be a screen where if you hit triangle, it shows you that it was on. They really got rid of it, 2K. Are you serious? Why Why would you get rid of that? All right, well, you. this is a non-cut right here. You can clearly see I haven't changed anything. We go to settings. There you go, Hall of Fame. I don't know why 2K got rid of that screen where you can see what difficulty you're on and where you got. It's 2K. I don't know why I'm questioning it. That's it for me, GG.